Kia ora from New Zealand everyone. I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. I'm so excited because recently I put up a poll for members on the community tab and I asked them, do you want to see me open the third bag of Educa's Around the World Jigsaw Puzzle? 42,000 pieces. This would be the third bag of 6,000 pieces. In this section, we move into Europe. So we have Big Ben, the Eiffel Tower, Leaning Tower of Pisa. Or would they rather see me crack open Ravensburger 2,000 piece Guinness World Records Jigsaw Puzzle? Well, they voted. They decided and they chose the Guinness World Records Jigsaw Puzzle. Now I'm so excited for you all to see this video because I've actually already completed the Jigsaw Puzzle and I, I loved it. Can't lie, love, love, loved it, loved every piece. I loved all the research that I did to figure out all the different Guinness World Records that are depicted in the Jigsaw Puzzle. Now it just says that it's called Guinness World Records. It's from Rod Hunt and they took from 2020 to 2022 to come up with the design and the illustration. Some of these Guinness World Records are newer, some are older. I had so much fun on the Guinness World Records website. I was on it for hours and hours. Now this was gifted to me from Alfonso, the president of the World Jigsaw Puzzle Federation, when I was in Spain this past September to attend the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships. Had so much fun and I am so thankful and grateful. He was such an amazing host and he just appreciated how far I had traveled to attend the competition. So I want to thank Alfonso so much for gifting this to me. I loved it so much that I have added it to my .com and .co.uk Amazon storefronts. I'll leave links to those in the description below. Just full disclosure, if you buy from there, the price is the same for you, but I do get a commission and that money goes back into the channel to help support buying more puzzles and puzzling equipment so I can make these videos for your enjoyment. Now just a little note, during the first 30 seconds of the time lapse, two or three times you're going to see some light banding. Um, I'm sorry about that. I tried to process it out as best as I could. It doesn't occur throughout the whole time lapse, just at the beginning for a little bit. The GoPro doesn't like the artificial lighting in the house. I debated whether I should chop it out, but I like seeing the build right from the start when I removed the lid from the box. So I left it in and I'm willing to bet most of you probably wouldn't have noticed or cared, but just a little message. I know that it's there. I processed as best as I could and sorry about that, but it doesn't occur throughout and hopefully it's not a big deal. So for the love of puzzles, let's just dive right in and watch the time lapse of this amazing 2000 piece panorama vertical Ravensburger Guinness World Records jigsaw puzzle being built. Enjoy all the information that I'll share with you with the various records that are depicted in the illustration. The Guinness World Records are the global authority on all things record breaking, with offices in the UK, US, China, Japan, and UAE, as well as official adjudicators who verify records all over the world. Now, originally named the Guinness Book of Records, Guinness World Records started out as an idea for a book of facts to solve arguments in pubs. This idea came about in the early 1950s when Sir Hugh Beaver, the managing director of the Guinness Brewery at the time, attended a shooting party and there he and his hosts argued about what the fastest game bird was in Europe and they failed to find an answer in any reference book. In 1954, recalling his shooting party argument, Sir Hugh had an idea for a Guinness promotion based on the idea of settling pub arguments and invited the twins Norris and Ross McWhorter, who were fact-finding researchers from Fleet Street, to compile a book of facts and figures. And that's when Guinness Superlatives was incorporated. After an initial research phase, work began on writing the book, which took 13 and a half 90 hour weeks, including weekends and bank holidays. Little did they know that Taking Shape was a book that would go on to become an all time bestseller and one of the most recognized and trusted brands in the world. As for what is the fastest game bird in Europe, the books never did tackle this original question owing to their focus purely on world records. 
but the red-breasted merganser, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, would be the most likely answer. It's fully migratory and still occasionally hunted. Going on the Guinness World Records website is amazing. I got trapped down a rabbit hole and loved it. I'd look up one thing and that led me to another, which led me to another, and I was finding out records about things I never even knew existed. It's, it's just hours of fun. The only thing is that the website isn't fully updated because records get broken all the time, and I'm sure it would take quite a team to keep that website fully updated. For example, they mentioned that the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship in 2022 holds the record for the largest speed puzzling competition by number of participants, but that record was actually broken this past September in 2023 at the competition again. And I looked up like a lot of puzzle related records and many of those are out of date. For example, I do believe the YouTube channel that's fully dedicated to jigsaw puzzles with the most subscribers is Puzzle Collect with nearly 420,000 subscribers at the time that I'm recording this. Now, could you imagine 420,000 subscribers? That's crazy. Congratulations to them. But if you want to set or break a record, you can apply to do so. And there is also a Guinness World Records Hall of Fame for the most iconic record title holders past and present. They induct a certain number of record holders into their Hall of Fame every year. The Harlem Globetrotters, an American basketball team, combine physical talent, entertainment, and comedy in their games. They hold about 35 Guinness World Records, like most basketball layups in one minute, longest underhand basketball shot, most consecutive catches of a spinning basketball, and for all those records, they were inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2024. At the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships in 2023, eight puzzlers assembled this exact jigsaw puzzle, and if they did it in under two hours, they were going to create a new world record. The puzzlers were Sophie from France, Soraya and Anna from Spain, Kelly from the United States, Katarina from Germany, Teresa and Marqueta from Czechia, and Melissa from Australia. They completed this exact jigsaw puzzle in one hour, 24 minutes, and the Guinness World Records adjudicator granted them a new world record title. Now, I believe that at this year's World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship, there are plans to attempt a new puzzling-related world record. I don't know what it will be, but I mean, I would love to take part. I just think it would be so cool. Well, actually, everyone that participated in the competition in September 2023 is actually part of the attendance world record, so, so that is pretty cool. Now, I spent hours looking at all the detail in this jigsaw puzzle, and it's just amazing. Some of it is so small, though, and it's hard to photograph or capture on camera. So I picked out the larger images and I found Guinness World Records related to them. For example, we'll start with the Lego minifigure built out of 1,985 modeling balloons, and it reached a height of six meters, which is about 150 times larger than a standard minifigure. This was done at the Brick Lego event in London of the United Kingdom on November 30th, 2014. The minifigure, which required no framing or internal support, was built over three days by a team led by Larry Moss of Arigami, the USA. That's a, that's a smart name. Now, the entire sculpture, including scaled up Lego pieces, used 4,174 balloons. The minifig was hollow, and the only support provided was a line from the ceiling to anchor it in place. So I believe the minifigure itself was made up of nearly 2,000 modeling balloons, but then I'm not sure they said that the, the entire sculpture, which included, you know, Lego pieces, the entire thing used nearly 4,200 balloons. The largest whoopee cushion measures 7.62 meters in diameter and was achieved by Matt Funk and Lee Burgess in Covington, Georgia of the United States on August 5, 2017. Students from the community helped deflate the whoopee cushion at an event held by First Baptist Church Covington. Can you imagine everyone just jumping on a farting whoopee cushion? That'd be hilarious! 
Now, I couldn't find a record for the tallest snowman, but I did find out that the smallest snowman is only three micrometers tall and was achieved by Todd Simpson at Western University Nanofabrication Facility in Ontario, Canada on December 16, 2016. Todd began the original snowman's body in 2005, but later added the face and arms to the snowman. Now, the snowman is made from round silica spheres and platinum arms. And I'm a bit confused because if it's not made of snow, does that still count as a snowman? Have you ever watched a hot dog eating contest? It's both fascinating and disgusting at the same time. The most hot dogs eaten in three minutes is 12. And that was achieved by Nicholas Wary. By the way, sorry, apologies if I mispronounce any names. I know I will. I think it's pronounced Wary in Tampa, Florida, the United States on October 22nd, 2022. Now, Nicholas is married to fellow competitive eater, Mickey Sudo, who achieved the fastest time to eat a burrito on that same day. I mean, I'd just be sick. <laughs> the longest hot dog measured 203.8 meters, and that was made by Novex SA in Paraguay, at the Expo Ferrig 2011 on July 15th, 2011. Now the meat produced by Oxy weighed 120 kilograms. The bun consisted of 100 kilograms of flour, 25 liters of water, six kilograms of yeast, six kilograms of sugar, five kilograms of butter, two kilograms of powdered milk, two kilograms of salt and one liter of malt extract. The hot dog and bun were entirely edible. So following the successful record attempt, the hot dog was cut into 2000 portions and distributed to the public. The hot dog was created to be a minimum of 200 meters. They just, you know, they just went over that at 203.8. And that was to commemorate Paraguay's 200th anniversary as a country. How did they cook the hot dog? Or was the meat already cooked and then it was eaten cold? How did they cook the bun? They would have had to cook the bun. How, what oven was large enough to cook the, I don't understand. I need more information about that. The tallest sand castle measures 21.16 meters and was made by Sculpture Parken Blokus in Denmark on July 2nd, 2021. A lot of effort and passion went into building the tallest sand castle. The sand castle is meant to be for everyone and it was built to help local companies, local people and boost tourism after, you know, the lockdowns. The base of the sandcastle measures over 30 meters and more than 6,400 tons of sand were used to create it. The sandcastle is expected to stand for six months and to be able to be visited by the public. Now, yeah, because like I said, the website is not fully updated all the time. I hope the sandcastle will, you know, manage to stand for at least six months. I'm not sure now. I wonder if it did. I have more questions than answers after finding out information about all these old records. So it's the start of the second day working on the 2000 piece, Robinsberger, Panorama, um, Guinness World Records jigsaw puzzle. I am loving it. Now, the thing is, it is sortable. It is sortable. The pieces, are they nice? Robinsberger size, lots of detail. You can easily see what's on every piece. I could have sorted out like all the water stuff, this building, some snow. I could have sorted out all the space stuff. And then there's distinct things like a crocodile, elephant, you know, the wording. The thing is, I started grabbing pieces and I'm like, well, let's just put them where they go. So naturally, I reverted to my standard build as I sort. Um, a few pieces off screen, I'm not sure if you can see them, the sky and the border. I found this little um, red bridge. I can't figure out where it goes at all. No clue. So, oh, just put it over here for now. But. I'm loving it. Now, I did end up squishing it too much up here. So all this stuff I keep having to shift down. Like, I'm willing to bet this boat probably goes down here. This all goes down. Um, but eventually, I did mention, and it goes between the two purple lines here. So I know I'm slowly having to shift everything down, but I'm loving it. It's just so much fun. 
my one issue is that this image, you know me, when I love the image. It's so small compared to the size. I would have loved a poster. So I had to pull out, I wear contacts. I had to pull out my extra glasses just to make it a little bit more strong so I can see what's on the box. But I'm getting to the point where I'm going through the box here. Here's my box of pieces and I'm being selective. So I'm going through and I recognize this detail down here. What is that? Some sort of water creature. So I'm recognizing the detail and I'm picking out things that I recognize and I'm like, oh wait, I know where this goes. I'll grab this piece. So I am being selective of what I'm picking out to work on. So I'll go through, I'll grab a few pieces. Look, this is the person lying on the big whoopee cushion and I can figure out where they go quite easily. I'm like, oh, that they're working down on the gym down here. See, look at that. Look, I can't even stop for two minutes to talk to y'all. And I'm like, oh, gotta get back to puzzling. I'm loving it though. I'm absolutely loving it. It is so much fun. Okay, I know this goes in space, but it is sortable. You, you could sort quite a few things and then build. I'm just deciding to build as I go. And because it's on such a large scale, I know I've smushed it. Like I think this probably goes way up there a bit more. And I think all this goes shifted down, but I'm having so much fun. I'm not sure how much fun it is to watch the build because I know it looks sporadic and chaotic, but eventually it comes all together. So I hope you're enjoying it. And um, at this point, I haven't done any of the voiceover, but looking at it, I'm like, wow, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about that. Like, what does this mean? What world record is this about? So I know there's going to be plenty of fun things to discover during the voiceover. So I do hope you're enjoying it. If you can get your hands on this puzzle, I know it's a rare puzzle, difficult to find, do so. So much fun. I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. It's a busy illustration. What more could I want? Okay, well, let's just plug right in and I'll just keep picking out pieces and placing, pick and place, pick and place with a few sorted on the sides. Okay, ciao. The most water skiers towed behind a single boat is 145. And that was by the Horsehead Water Ski Club in Tasmania and Australia. That was done on January 27th, 2012. Now the most trio water skiers towed behind a single boat is 16, and that was achieved by Big Pull 2022 in the United States and Wisconsin on September 17th of 2022. This attempt was made during a community event that brought together over 150 water skiers from seven states. The 16 trios completed two different lifts during their attempt. The largest rubber band ball weighs 4,097 kilograms. And that was made by Joel Wall and was measured in Lauderhill, Florida of the United States in November 2008 for Guinness World Records days. Now, 700,000 rubber bands of all sizes were used to make this ball. Joel started creating the rubber band ball on, in April 2004. And so four years later, it got its record. The ball's name is Megaton, and it's just over two meters tall. The most fire-breathing full twist backflips in one minute. Let me say that again. The most fire-breathing full twist backflips in one minute is 10. I don't even know if I can picture that. And that was achieved by Aiden Malakaria of Australia at the Studio 10 in Sydney, New South Wales in Australia on November 9th, 2017 in celebration of Guinness World Records days. Now, Malakaria achieved the record on his first attempt. So he was breathing fire and doing backflips and he did 10 in one minute, if I understand that correctly. I, I I mean, I just don't know what to say anymore. But the most flames blown in 30 seconds is 55. And that was achieved by Christopher Campbell in London, Ontario of Canada on January 26, 2021. That's, that's just nuts. It's, all this stuff is just crazy to me. I love it. 
Now, I absolutely love this piece of this monkey sitting on a bench. I couldn't find any specific Guinness World Record <laughs> related to a monkey sitting on a bench. And I do believe the monkey depicted is a mandrel. I'm not sure, but let's just go with it. And I did find out, though, on Guinness World Records website that the largest monkey is the mandrel. The male mandrel, also known as Mandrillus sphinx, or man-ape of equatorial West Africa, has an average head and body length of 61 to 76 centimeters and a tail length of 5.2 to 7.6 centimeters. Adult males weigh on average 25 kilograms, although specimens weighing up to 54 kilograms and measuring 50.8 centimeters to the shoulder have been known. Goodness. The mandrel is also one of the most colorful mammals, recognized by its naked, vivid blue rump, red striped face, and yellow beard. I just love monkeys so much. So perhaps this is a depiction of the largest monkey, the mandrel, sitting on a bench. The largest plastic duck is over six stories high and can be on land or water. Now, I found their website, thebigduck.us, but there was an error when I tried loading the record on the Guinness World Records website. I tried and I did eventually find this information. The largest plastic duck measured 25 meters tall and was floated at the port of Saint-Nazaire as part of the Loire Estuary Project 2007, which involved a series of art installations along the river bank between Saint-Nazaire and Nantes from June to September 2007. Now, I'm assuming they're referring to the same duck. I don't know, but it is quite the sight to see, and I believe it's traveled around to different ports um, and exhibitions. The largest ping pong bat measures 3.53 meters tall and 2.02 meters wide, and that was achieved by Rise Brands at Pins Mechanical Company in Columbus, Ohio, the United States, on July 21, 2017. The venue where the bat is hung is actually a place where guests can play table tennis. Now, I thought it was called a paddle, but I guess it's actually called a bat. The tallest cowboy boot sculpture measures 10.74 meters in height and was constructed by Bob Wade as measured in San Antonio, Texas of the United States on November 4th, 2014. The boots also measure 10.16 meters in length and 2.74 meters in width. The largest Rubik's Cube is 2.503 meters by 2.505 meters by 2.502 meters and was achieved by Nina Mall in Hong Kong. Now I'm just curious why it wasn't exact dimensions, but then again, we're getting down to the millimeters there, so it's, it's close enough. It's pretty much exact. The Rubik's Cube was displayed in Nina Mall for a month, and I do believe it was operational. Like if you had enough people, you could rotate it and, and change it. The fastest time to solve a Rubik's Cube is 2.61 seconds by Tommy Cherry in the second round of the Cubing USA Mid-Atlantic Championships, an event held in Albany, New York on June 17th, 2023. Now, at that same event, Cherry also set a record for the average 3x3x3 cube solved while blindfolded with a time of 14.72 seconds. Uh, how did they know they were done solving it? Like, was the adjudicator watching and then tapped them on the shoulder when they were done? Like, or, or was it up to them to go, okay, I think I'm done solving it. And then look, take off the blindfold and be like, oh yeah, you're done. I don't know. Again, so many questions. On February 6, 2018, SpaceX launched inaugural flight of the Falcon Heavy rocket. Aboard it was the personal Tesla Roadster car of SpaceX founder Elon Musk. The car was successfully launched and boosted into a heliocentric orbit around the sun that will take the car beyond the orbit of Mars and back. Now, at the point of booster engine cutoff, the car was launched into its heliocentric orbit at a calculated velocity of 33.5 kilometers a second. Now, normally we talk about kilometers per hour, but this was 33.5 kilometers per second, which is nearly 75,000 miles per hour. And that's relative to the sun, which that's about 
11.15 kilometers a second relative to the Earth. I don't understand the science and the math enough to know what that means, but I think it's flipping fast because 11.15 kilometers per second relative to the Earth, that's about 25,000 miles per hour relative to the Earth. And so that makes this the fastest speed a car has ever traveled in space, including the lunar rovers as they sped from Earth to the moon. Now at the wheel of the car, this is great, this is just great, there is a mannequin dressed in a full space suit, complete with a copy of Douglas Adams Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and of course, a towel. The largest pumpkin by circumference measured 642.6 centimeters around from stem to blossom. That's nearly 6.5 meters. And it was presented by Travis. I can't pronounce his last name, sorry. Um, G-I-E-N-G-E-R. Could be Ginger, Ginger, Geyinger. Apologies about that. And it was presented at the 50th Safeway World Championship pumpkin way off that was held in Half Moon Bay in California of the United States on October 9th, 2023. The measurements were verified by the Great Pumpkin Commonwealth. I did not know that's a thing, but I think it's great. This monster gourd was grown from an Atlantic giant 2365 wolf seed. And it also claimed the record as the heaviest pumpkin ever weighed in competition tipping the scales at 1,246.9 kilos. That's just crazy. The largest rocking chair measures 17.09 meters tall and nearly 10 meters wide at 9.99, just shy of a centimeter. It was created by Jim Bolin and verified in Casey, Illinois of the United States on October 20th, 2015. The rocking chair is on display outside of Casey City Hall. The depth of each rocker is 9.88 meters. The largest pizza measures 1,296.72 square meters, and it was achieved by ARAC in Los Angeles, California of the United States on January 19th, 2023. The ingredients for this pizza included nearly 6,200 kilograms of dough, just over 2,200 kilograms of sweet marinara sauce, nearly 4,000 kilograms of cheese, and roughly 630,496 pepperoni slices. Now, I questioned this because I went, how could you bake a pizza that large? And looking into it further, the Guinness World Records credit it with the largest pizza, but people are saying it's not valid because it's actually made in sections and then assembled. Um, so it would be interesting to see what's the largest pizza like one solid base pizza that was able to be made and baked. That would be interesting. My goodness this has been pure joy for me I I love it this is the perfect like just pick and place pick and place build as you sort I just I loved it the only issue I'm having is the detail on the box because the image is small compared to the size of the puzzle I had to use like I said my extra glasses which is fine I'm loving every piece this is a puzzle you just have to appreciate what's on every piece. This is a monkey on a bench. I have no idea where it goes. I'm like, where does the monkey go? I've been concentrating on what's on the ground, meaning is it water? Is it sky? Is it like sidewalks or like the grass or the sand? This one is hard to tell. I think he's somewhere in the grass, but yeah, I don't know where the monkey is on the bench, but I love this piece. So far, this is my favorite piece. I only have a few pieces left. 
Not many at all. So basically what I did is I went through every piece and everything I could quickly place, I just did. Ah, oh, and like I remember where things are now. I'm like, oh yeah, that's over here or that's over there. So these pieces that I have left are really like, I think from this, well, you can see where they're from. A lot of the buildings, the vegetation, um, it's a lot where there's people, lots of people congregated. So now I just have to finish this up. And I'm looking at these pieces, I'm going, I have no idea where this goes. Like every piece is an adventure. There's something to discover. And I can't believe, I'm like, I can't believe I haven't seen where this piece goes yet. Where could this go? And actually, yeah, I need, I need my glasses because I can't see the detail well enough but I'm absolutely loving it. I hope you're enjoying it. It's so much fun. And I can't wait to do the voiceover because I'm like, what world record is associated with a monkey sitting on a bench, for example? Like, um, how do I Google? I'm gonna go to the Guinness World Records website and I'll just try to find some interesting things. I also wanna look up like, who started the world records? When did they start? What was the first official world record? And, um, because maybe I won't be able to find specific things related to what's in the image. Because, yeah, like, do I, do I look up monkey on a bench? Like, is there a world record about a monkey sitting on a bench? I honestly don't know. Oh, I can't wait. So I'm going to finish this today. And I just loved it. And I think I want to try to display it. It's just so much fun. There's so much to look at. Oh, yeah. Again, thank you so much, Alfonso, for gifting this to me. Just amazing. And I think my method worked quite well. You could definitely sort it. You could definitely sort it. But how fun is this? Oh, I'm so excited. You can always tell when I love a jigsaw puzzle because I cannot contain my excitement for it. And I'm almost sad. Like, I'm excited to finish it because I want to see it all done. But I'm sad that it's going to be done soon. Okay, I'll, I'll figure out where my monkey on a bench goes. Where do you go, little monkey? I have no idea. There's the red and the white lines. Is that the bur No. Oh, goodness, this is driving me crazy. I'm getting fixated on a piece. And normally, I know I don't. But yeah, this piece, I'm fixated on it. Okay, monkey. Maybe I'll, I'll save the monkey on the bench for the last piece. Put it right there. When I came across the Guinness World Records website and I looked up for largest pizza, the next entry next to it made sense. It was the largest collection of pizza boxes. Okay. But then right next to that was um, um, the, uh, what is it? Biggest user of the poo emoji country. And I thought, what does this have to do with pizza? Oh, here's the largest pizza, the largest pizza box collection. Oh, and here's the country that likes to use the poo emoji the most. And I have to read it to you because Canada, my home country, is the country that makes the most use of the infamous smiling pile, pile of poo emoji. That was the finding of British touchscreen keyboard developer SwiftKey when they drilled down into their data to find out the nations in which particular emojis are used the most. Which made me wonder why they're tracking emoji use. What other data do they collect on us? Let's face it, anything you do online, tap, touch, whatever. It, someone knows it and has it somewhere. But anyway, does it really matter? At least for the poo emoji. Well, I guess it gives you a world record. The results announced in April 2015. So this, that's several years ago now. That's eight years going on nine years ago. So this could well have changed. They show that the poop emoji accounted for 0.48% of all emojis posted by Canadians, compared to 0.38% for Australia, 0.34% for the United States, and 0.25% for the United Kingdom. Now, as well as revealing Canada as the biggest poop user, the data, which contained more than a billion emoji use records. Why do you need to know this information? Maybe to delete the emojis that are not used so it doesn't take up like digital space? I don't know. Also showed that the slice of pepperoni pizza is the most popular in the United States. The winking smiley is the biggest in Britain. Beer gets the most use in Australia. And the French have a passion for hearts. They send four times more hearts than any other country. Well, I, 
I love doing the research for this, but I have so many more questions now. I have so many questions. I'm going to be on this Guinness World Records website for for days and months to come. Oh goodness, I would really like for a lot of this stuff to be updated as well in case things have changed over time. I loved it. I, I loved it. This, this is me in a puzzle. Colorful, bright, illustration, busy. If you see in the time lapse, I literally was just picking pieces out and putting them down. At first, as I explained, I was kind of all crunched up here and I eventually had to, you know, keep shifting things down. But I loved every piece. There's so much to discover on every single piece of this jigsaw puzzle. It's so much fun. You could sort it, you could definitely sort it by some sections and buildings and water and sky, the space. But I was like, as I started, I'm like, well, why will I sort when I know, well, that goes there and that goes there. And eventually, because I had looked at the puzzle, at the image so often, I knew where a lot of things went. But still, because there's so much to discover, I thought I knew where everything went, and then I'd take a new piece and be like, well, where does this go? I haven't seen this before. What is this? It was so much fun. It was absolutely just a pure joy to build. And I'm so pleased with my time, just under 10 hours. I think that's really good for such a tricky 2000 piece jigsaw puzzle. Loved it. Now, if you noticed at the end, I saved the monkey on the bench. I think it's a mandrill on the bench for my last piece. Well, I had two pieces left and I could not figure out where that other piece went. You see in the video, I'm rubbing my hand along the whole puzzle. I couldn't find the hole where the piece went. So I ended up putting the monkey in and then I kept looking and looking and looking and finally I found where that other piece went because there were some people on it and some greenery and grass. There were only so many places it could go. So I went back and I, <laughs> I removed the piece with the monkey on the bench, put the other one in and sure enough, the piece with the monkey on the bench was just right here in front of me was the last piece that I put in. <laughs> Gotta save the monkey for last. I hope you really enjoyed the voiceover and all the world record information that I shared. It was so much fun. And you know what? I, I could have gone on for hours and hours and hours because there's just so much detail in this jigsaw puzzle. So much detail. And for some things, like there's a pretzel in space here. And, and I looked and of course I could not find like a world record specific to a pretzel in space. But then I ended up finding out about two stars that are doing something wonky donkey and in a telescope from afar, it looks like a pretzel. So I don't know if that's what that reference is to or not, but oh my goodness, I had to stop. 
I had to stop. I, I'd still be there, you know, looking up other world records, going down tangents, going off to parallels and, and just having an amazing time. It was so much fun. So I just have to say thank you so much to Robinsberger for collaborating with the Guinness World Records to produce this jigsaw puzzle. Rod Hunt, the artist. I don't know if I've done any other puzzles with their artwork on it. Love it though. I'm definitely going to look that up, look them up and see what other artwork they've done and if they're on any other jigsaw puzzles, but especially to Alfonso. Thank you so much for gifting this to me. Loved it. I can't wait to see what type of Guinness World Record is planned for September 2024 for the next World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship. Will you be there? Are you going to Spain? I think I'm going to break up the Jigsaw Puzzle into sections and store it in the box and just be able to pull it out. And I honestly think this would be a puzzle like in a year or two, I'll just be like, let's do it again. I think Allison would love to do this. Maybe I should try to round up eight friends and see how quickly we could do it. I, I don't know. An hour and 24 minutes, that's just insane. That's next level. They definitely deserve that world record. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I had so much fun. I can't stop smiling. My cheeks are hurting. And if you know why there is a monkey on a bench, please let me know. And I think it's a mandrel. And there's a gorilla with a necktie. And then there's another monkey over there. There's so many monkeys in this jigsaw puzzle. And why is there an elephant dressed up like, like a clown? Couldn't figure that out. Does it have anything to do with BTS? Is that BTS on the pyramid, you know, stage? Oh, that's what I should say. The one thing I wish, the only one thing that would have been amazing is if there would have been a poster pullout for the jigsaw puzzle because it's really hard to see the detail on such a small scale compared to how big the puzzle is. And then it would have also been cool if like a lot of the world records would have been labeled and like have on the back of the poster like numbers and explain what the world records are. That would have been amazing. Like I need to talk to this artist. I need to communicate with Rod Hunt. I have so many questions, people. So many questions. Not gonna be able to sleep at night. I didn't even dive into the underwater stuff. A lot of the water stuff I didn't look up. And, and is there a largest snowman somewhere? Why is there a snowman there if I couldn't find a world record for the largest snowman? And why is the smallest snowman not made of snow and still considered a snowman? Oh, I'm not gonna sleep for days now. I'm not gonna sleep for days. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao.